What's going on, everyone? So as promised, I would do an overview of some of the builds I've done over the years. I'll make this as prompt as possible due to the fact that I have a lot of things I have to do this evening, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna quickly run through it as, as quick as possible. <laughs> if you see a decal on this toolbox, that means one of these companies has supported one of my builds over the years, and I greatly appreciate it. These companies are absolutely phenomenal. Shout outs to you. This is my wife's 2002 Yamaha R1, fully customized. I bought it in 2006. It only had like maybe 4,000 miles on the bike. It was barely used. Um, custom Galfa rotors. I have custom tires, custom wheels, 12 inch over swing arm, re rebuilt motor at 12,000 miles, custom cooling, uh, air, air intake, and ma manual fan switch. I also have custom valving on the rear shock and exhaust. And I have to tell you, this bike's amazing. Today I'm rewiring her bike just because I don't like the way the wires are sitting under the seat. So that's what I'll be doing today. Uh, as you can see, fully custom. Lead glow lights, man. Can't go wrong. I've had the same kit on the bike for years. It works great. No complaints. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Right under, right under 20,000 miles. And this is a 2002. Again, for her height and weight, this bike's perfect. I think this is one of the best R1s Yamaha's ever built, and that's just my opinion. Here we have my 2009 Kawasaki ZX14. Fully custom. And I tell you what, I put a lot of time into this bike. Custom built motor, APE head, uh, four in one muzzy exhaust. I have ignition timing by Power Commander, Power Commander 5, fully tuned. Been on a dyno a million times already. <laughs> Custom wheels, calipers. These are my shell casings from my pistol. Custom sound system, Polk Audio. I hand laid this fiberglass myself, and it's phenomenal. The system's great. It sounds very clear, precise, just the way I like it. Custom box I built in-house, waterproof. This is a 240 kit from Roaring Toys. Shout out to Rob Fisher from Roaring Toys. I've been rocking with this guy for a long time. I built a lot of motorcycles with this product. Let me tell you something. You will never be disappointed. Customer service, hands down the best. If I need a product for my bikes, I go to Rob. Roaring Toys, baby. Let's check it out. to this music I'm about to make right now. I don't own the rights to this music. I don't have it all the way up, y'all. I don't have it all the way up. It's at a decent a volume for the video. This is my 2015 Victory Magnum, custom built by myself in-house. SMT machine and front wheel, air suspension. I built the motor and transmission. I actually did the diamond cuts on my bench with a, with a Dremel by hand, and yes, it took a lot of time but I'm very happy with the outcome. Custom sound system. I hand laid all the fiberglass myself. You can't purchase this tail. I built it in my garage. Bag extensions. I built the bag lids myself. This has two sound digital amplifiers. Each bag has two eight inch subwoofers, Hertz SPL shows, eight inch mid SPL shows, and two T25 tweeters two six and a half SPL shows and two T25s up front with total of 10 speakers. Bike sounds absolutely phenomenal. Custom exhaust, power commander, custom tuned. Let's take a look. I know y'all want to hear it. I know y'all want to hear it. Y'all probably want to hear the sound system. I might have, have to do that on a separate video, y'all, but I will get it out to y'all. Let's see if I can get this system to integrate. Let's see if I can 
switch over. I would enjoy that. I'll try to get a front shot of the bike if possible. That is my custom victory. Moving on to my G35. Motor Dyn exhaust, full with ART pipes. And you know, VQ35s are infamous for what? Oil burning. Yeah, fun. This is. Anki wheels, Hankook Ventus V12, V2, Evo 2s. These are great tires. I love them. Best tires I've ever owned. Removable steering wheel, Sparkle steering wheel. I have a Kenwood Exelon 1057XR radio. By far the best radio I've ever owned. I will be buying another one for my CLS. Shouts to Kenwood. Short shifter, weighted counterweight, uh, shift, shift knob. Kyle Rad, Kyle Rad radi uh, radiator. My previous one cracked because it was plastic. Now I got a better one. Connects intake manifold, custom intake built by me, plugs, wires, and tuned. I will tell you, um, I want to be competitive, so this motor's got to go. I mean, yeah, you've got, your purists are going to tell me. Oh, let me cut the music. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me cut the music, y'all. And I get away too far from the motorcycle and it starts to cut. All right, so I want to get rid of this engine and I'm not going to get rid of it. I'll probably build it and just keep it as an ornament in my garage. Let's be real, y'all. At 800 horsepower, you're at its peak with this engine. With a VQ motor, it's just not possible to get 2,000 horsepower. That's why I have a 2JZ waiting, sitting, ready to get built. And I plan on going for about 1,000. It just is what it is. I want to be competitive and this is not a competitive motor. It's great for like tuning around the street, but let's be real. There's cars out there that'll just stomp us. Even at five, 600 horse, how much are you really gonna get from this motor? And not to, not to mention, man, I'm just done with the whole burning oil thing, man. That's terrible. They say you gotta rebuild the motor, you can sleeve it, blah, 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 blah. I just wanna deal with the headache anymore. It's time to retire the VQ. And I know you purists are gonna say whatever you want, but you're not gonna compete with a 2JZ. Let's just be real. I know, I know, it's like, oh, that's just the, that's the normal motor, blah, blah, blah. Let's just hands down. You just can't compete with the LS or 2J. It's the best swapped motor today. And I just happen to have one laying around, so why not? I already have the engine. I might as well build it. So it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think a lot more videos in the future. And again, man, you know, I have a lot of good content coming your way. Once I retire, I'm really going to go crazy. I'm really going to go crazy. Once I retire, I'm going to be building the G35 live. Once I have enough subscri subscribers, you'll also be seeing the CLS 55 AMG get a full makeover. And again, once I get enough subscribers, you'll see for yourself, man. I'm about that life. Retirement life. 
I did 21 years in the Marines and I'm finally done. Like I did my time. I did my time. I was in when 9-11 hit, 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 hit. So I've done my time, but stick with me. I'm gonna show y'all more content in the future. I love y'all. I appreciate the support. One.